trouble. But that would be a little ironic, don't you think? And, uh, and why would you say that? The next time you tell a judge your life story, it'd be a good idea not to leave out the bad parts. Bad parts? You both were fugitives from the law on not one, but two occasions. And on one of those times, kidnapping was part of the charges. Yeah, I had my secretary do a little research while the ladies were off shopping. Well, judge Steve, we can explain uh, that. Kidnapping. Don't waste your breath. Knowing what I know now, do you have any idea the political hot water I could be in if I went ahead and sanctioned this marriage? Wait, wait, wait. What are you saying? You're saying that it's all over. Wait a second. Please, you can't do this. Listen, the only reason they were on the run the last time was because Will's mother made up some charges against them. She said that Gwen attacked her and it was a total lie. Well, be that as it may. No, you don't know this woman, okay? She is like... She's like the evil queen in Snow White. She's worse than that. It's okay, Maddie. Look, it's true. We were on the run. But both times it was for the same reason that we're here today, asking you to marry us. We told you that there were certain people who would do anything to keep us apart, but if you check again, you'll see that both times the charges against us were dropped. We just need a break here, Judge. Just one decent break. Yeah. Seems like you haven't had too many of those. We've been through some pretty tough times. Yeah, but we've stuck it out. And you're not only still standing... But you're still together. So maybe I should cut the part of the ceremony that deals with the trying times ahead. Are you saying that there's a going to be a ceremony after all? How could I say no to two people who obviously love each other so much? What about that political trouble you were talking about? Uh, I was born to parents who spent half their lives going to protest marches. I'm the last guy to be afraid of a little controversy. Well, that is what I like to hear. Put it there. <laughs> hey, you really had me worried there for a minute. Right. Well, a little suspense is good for a wedding. It makes you remember, you know, when it comes to marriage, you should never take anything for granted. Yeah, well, we, uh, we will definitely remember that. Okay. All right, if you got the bling, I got the rest. <laughs> Let's put the show on the road. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The rings. I cannot believe we forgot. Everybody relax. It's covered. I know they're not glamorous, but... That's the best I can do on short notice. Where did you get these? <laughs> Bubble gum machine at the diner next door. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, amazing. Mm. Gwen, is there anything you'd like to say? Oh, this, is all, this is all happening so fast. I wish I'd had time to write something. I'm not so good when it comes to talking about my feelings. Are you kidding? I don't know anyone who can speak their mind as easily as you do. Yeah, when I'm mad. It's a lot harder to say what I'm feeling when I'm so happy. Maybe that's because I haven't had a lot of happiness in my life. Not until I fell in love with you. I don't think that uh, anybody ever has made me laugh the way that you do. <laughs> with you, I feel good about myself. You make it okay to be me. It's all my uh, flaws and uh, faults. I don't have to hide any of that. I can just be who I am and know that you will always love me. I do. Forever. It's like you took my heart out of a cold place and found a way to make it warm again. Well, I know it sounds corny, but, uh, <laughs> you saved me. And I love you for that. I love you for so much more. Well, is there anything you'd like to say? <laughs> oh, plenty. I was just this messed up kid from a messed up family who didn't believe in much. And, uh, and I kept making all these mistakes because I, I didn't have any reason not to. And then you came along with that big chip on your shoulder. <laughs> You're so ready to take on the world. I was almost scared of you at first. But uh, the really great thing was that you, you didn't lie. You always told the truth. And before I knew it, I was in love with you. And I, I remember the moment it happened, it was the first time you smiled, and I know it was for me. As long as I can be with you, my life doesn't have to be messed up anymore. You, uh, you believed in me, and by doing that, you showed me how to believe in myself. And I love you. I love you for 
how independent you are. And even though you're the most independent person I've ever met, you still sometimes need me. And I love that you don't trust everyone, but when you do, it's, it's forever. And I love that when you smile at me, it's, it's because I've earned it. And it's real. I don't want to be with anyone else but you for the rest of my life. Hey, I'm there. Every day, every night. Good and bad, thick and thin. You're stuck with me now. And I'm never gonna let you down. You better not let them. Do you, Gwen Norbeck, take Will Munson to be your lawfully wedded husband? To have and to hold? For better or for worse? For richer or for poorer? In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, from this day forward till, till death do you part? You better believe it. <laughs> do you, Will Munson, take Gwen Norbeck to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, from this day forward until death do you part? I do, a thousand times over. Time for the rings. Okay. okay. Now repeat after me, Glenn. I give you this ring as an eternal symbol of my love and commitment to you. I give you this ring as an eternal symbol of my love and commitment to you. Now you will. I give you this ring as an eternal symbol of my love and commitment to you. By the power invested in me by the state of Illinois, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You know what comes next, so what the heck are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, thanks a lot. You made these guys really happy today. So, what about a honeymoon? Uh, I give up. What about it? We've been lucky this far. You're talking honeymoon? What, you mean the uh, is out of the question? Well, only temporarily. Right now, I want to get back to Oakdale and flash these beautiful plastic rings in everybody's faces. Casey <laughs> uh, and yeah, we don't really know how to thank you. And uh, Judge Steve, what can I say? You are... You are the man. Well, just do me a favor. Be happy. And be smart. Marriage is a gift. Don't take it for granted. So I guess we should get out of here. Yeah. Oh, wait. Um, you guys go ahead. We'll meet you in the car. Okay. I wanted to thank you again. What did I do? What did you do? Let's see. Well, you brought us here, and you... Stuck around and you got those rings. You made this night possible. I'm just glad it all worked out. Well, we're not done. We're not? No. There's still one more thing that I want to do, and uh, you are the only one that can pull it off. Oh, hello. Oh, well, well, I am so very glad to see you two. You are? Oh, yes, yes. I just want to have a chance to tell you, I'm, honey, I'm so thankful that ridiculous nonsense about the robbery has been worked out and I'm sorry that Barbara caused you so much trouble and how I regret that I was not able to prove that you were not guilty. Oh, I, I can prove that I was neither, so I understand why you had to let me go. Well, thank you again for giving me a, a chance. Anyways, uh, we, have, we have better things uh, to think about now. Well, I bet you do. Look at you. Why are you so dolled up? We just got married, Grandma. Married? Oh, no, they can't, no. <laughs> They're too young. No, actually, we found a judge that didn't think we were, and he was a really cool guy. He just performed the ceremony. Now, is this on the level? I got the plastic ring to prove it. <laughs> Have you told your parents yet? Oh, no, not yet, but they'll find out soon. Congratulations, I think. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, guys, um, I'll meet you in the dining room. I need to talk to my grandma real quick. On the inside. Hey, you know, I, I'm surprised you went along with this because I thought you and Will were on the house. Oh, we were, but everything's cool now. 
Well, good. Then I take it you think it's cool that these two got hitched. They're in love, Graham. What's cooler than that? Nothing in my book. I'm glad you agree, because I don't know if Dad will. When he finds out that I drove them to the courthouse and then stood up for Will, he may go ballistic. He may, and if he does, send him to me. I'll take care of him. Good. Yeah. Um, but right now, I could use another favor. Well, tell me what it is, and we'll see what we can do. Hey, are you guys going to join us anytime this week? Yeah, sorry, we were just taking care of some stuff. Part and post wedding business, you know. All right, what are you guys up to? <laughs> Here you go. Here you go, you newlywed surprise, surprise. <laughs> what is this? That is the key to the bridal suite. You've got it for the night. Are you kidding? No. No, of course not. Look, tomorrow is going to be difficult enough because you got to face all these people and tell them what's happened. And I thought, well, tonight uh, you deserve a night of wedded bliss. Oh, uh, we don't know how to thank you, Mrs. Grimaldi. The, first, you can start by not calling me Mrs. I am Lisa. And second, you thank uh, Casey. He's the one that arranged this. Actually, it was Maddie's idea. I was just following orders. Well, you two are the best. You three are the best. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you just going to stand there, or are you going to throw that thing? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, <Yeah. Okay>. hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, darling, but I've had so much more experience than you have. Oh, don't you worry. It looks to me like you're doing just fine. Aww. So fun. Come on, darling. Thank you. Congrats, buddy. Hey, thanks. Thanks for everything. <laughs> Looks like you ended up with a good guy. I know. For the record, you've turned into a pretty good one yourself. <laughs>